Hey y'all, I'm Brittany and today we're unboxing the Golden Egg Harry Potter Easter Swap Mystery Box. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've been in front of the camera. It's crazy to think that I actually haven't been on camera since 2022 began and they're kind of many reasons why I haven't done it just because 2022 did not start off great for me, but I am making my comeback, well, my on-screen comeback with this video, which I'm super excited to talk about. This is the very first time I've ever participated in a mystery box swap. So, as I said at the top of the video that this is the Golden Egg Harry Potter Easter Swap and this was curated or rather put together by Melissa from Geeking Out with Melly Mel and Christian of McDorks. I just want to say to Mel and to Christian, thank y'all so much for including me in this box swap. It was a lot of fun to participate and 15 other channels are also participating in this box swap. So if you guys want to check that out, all of their links have been listed down below in the description box. And be sure to head over to Magic Wishing Star, AKA Christine, who was my person that I shopped for in this box swap. So I can't wait to see everyone's reactions to their box swaps. And this was just a lot of fun. So once again, thank you so much, Christian and Mel for including me. I know y'all are going to be putting together future box swap is that I really do hope I can participate in again. And yeah, so that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Yeah, it, I've, I've been out of the game for so long. I forgot about my wand and doing the little thing, to, whatever. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> so because this is the Golden Egg Harry Potter box swap, there was a bit of a criteria we had to follow. So one item that needed to be included in the box swap is of course, a golden egg. So that could be, an art print, an actual figurine statue type thing or jewelry or just something that had the golden egg incorporated into it. And the other items that we needed to include were a Harry Potter themed plushie, a Harry Potter themed t-shirt and $25 worth of mystery item or items. So that could just range from anything and everything, what the person likes, if they like to collect wands, potions, um, other mystery item type things, you know, that's what we had to do. For full transparency, because there was a bit of an issue with shipping, not anyone's fault other than the shipping provider, <laughs> but I did find out who my person was, but I will reveal who that person is in the unboxing. I swear this poor box just went through it. like. It was a mess trying to, you know, get this box. And again, this has nothing to do with the person who sent this. This had everything to do with the provider, but I just hope that everything's safe inside. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so here's my box, <laughs> this poor thing. Oh my goodness. Like I said, it went through it, but we do have a, some stickers here. So we have a little chibi Luna love good. Uh, we have, something that ripped, <laughs> but also a little Hedwig and, and we have a little Dobby. I love the Dobby. Um, Albus didn't make it. <laughs> oh goodness. And then over on here, we've got some stickers of the flying key as well as a broomstick. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but let's go ahead and unbox this. So we are about to unbox. Oh my goodness. There are, there are interesting things in here from what I can see. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a cheeky first peek. This, oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. I'm like really, I'm really intrigued by this like foliage that's in here. What the heck? Okay, well there is a card here. So we have a red Hogwarts wax stamp. I love this attention to detail. The color of this envelope is kind of like a gold kind of parchment like thing. And I do not want to rip that wax stamp. So we're just going to use box cutter and see if I can 
do this without cutting myself. Oh my god, it smells so nice. I wish there was smell vision so you guys can like smell what I'm smelling. It's it's really I'm already like blown away with just what's in here. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at there. Looky there. Oh my gosh! Yes, so now I can officially say who my person was for this box swap. And it is Michael of McDorks. I love this little sticker. This is so sweet. I mean, their their logo is just really cool looking and I really, really love it. And, oh, this is cool. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna have to find something to put all these on. So we have another one that says, stay dorky. I love how they say that. It's it's like their signature for every video that they do. We've got another cute little sticker of McDorks. This is when they were McDorks Pop. They are no longer McDorks Pop. They are just McDorks. We have another Stay Dorky. This is very like retro, kind of 70s, 80s type vibe. Love that gradient. Love, love, love. And the last one. <laughs> The last one I think is my favorite, Fake Fan Society. If you know, you know. <laughs> this is cool. This is great. Thank you so much, Michael, for the stickers. I love that. But I, I'm. this card is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So it says platform nine and three quarters. On a scale of one to 10, you are a nine three quarter. So check out this beautiful gift card that Michael included in this box. I mean, look, the Niffler in all of us is gonna go nuts for this gold foil. Very, very pretty, very beautiful. And it's got the Hogwarts house mascots in the corners. We've got a very faint silhouette of Hogwarts right here, as you can see. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. There we go. That's very cool. This is one of the nicest Harry Potter cards like I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see what Michael said. He says, hey Britt, hope that you love everything I got for you. Picking out these items was such an experience. Every time I went out, I would have to look at your Elfster list. <laughs> I laughed because I was constantly updating my Elfster list. I apologize. <laughs> Other than that, hope you love how the box was decorated. It was all Christian's idea. He's a genius. He even made the little daily profit baggie that is holding your dot dot dot. <laughs> Spoilers. Have a fun unboxing. P.S. We haven't updated our sticker, so enjoy our old ones with our previous logo. We are no McDorks pop. He says, we are McDorks. No more pop. LOL. So because the front said on a scale of one to 10, you're a nine and three quarter. The inside says, just kidding. You're a 10. Stay dorky from Michael. Oh, this is really sweet. I love this. This was a great start to the unboxing. I mean, the box itself is just like fascinating to look at just because I have no idea what's inside. And Christian, thank you so much for coming up with the decorations that I can see thus far. Um, I'm super excited. I'm super, super excited. Oh my gosh. So this is so cute. Okay. Okay, when they said golden egg needed to be included in this box, I this is all I saw. And I'm like, oh my God, I have a golden egg. Like legitimate golden egg. It is an egg, but it's filled with some of my favorite candies in here. This is very cool. Yes, Skittles, Lifesaver gummies. I love anything gummy. I don't know why, I just do but it's bad for your teeth, but I love it. <laughs> this is fun. This is great. Oh, very cool. I will stash this with my candy jar. <laughs> and the presentation, of course, with the golden egg is just perfection. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness. How the heck, how the heck? Okay, so now that we've got some of that packaging out of the way we can see more of christian's decorations in here this is giving me like 
kind of like forbidden forest vibes. I'm not sure if that's the intention, but like with these, uh, these like little decorations are really cool. I don't know what you call this, but it's kind of got like that, that straw type material you could use to make like, is it wicker? Is it called wicker? Yeah, maybe it's called that. But anyway, we've got that. And then we've got like this, you know, kind of walnut shell looking thing and like other, it's kind of like potpourri type type thing. Maybe I'm totally off base, but oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know where to start. Um, ah! Okay. This is lovely. Is this like actual Harry Potter kind of wrapping paper or is it like postage? It looks really cool either way. It's all black, of course. We've got some writings and stamps all on the gift wrap. We've got green string because as y'all know, I'm a Slytherin and proud of it. So we also have a silver wax stamp that has the owl post on there and colored in with green. So that's really cool. Love that detail. And honestly, I don't even want to unbox anything because everything is so well wrapped. So we're going to now unbox this first box. It's kind of a small box. So I'm kind of maybe anticipating a Funko Pop. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, not a Funko Pop. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. So we have a Luna Lovegood plushie. How darling is that? And I love that she's in her Ravenclaw robes. We've got her Ravenclaw scarf. She's in her Spectre specs. Luna's up here trying to check out what's, what's it? What is that, Mama? Yeah? Yeah, do you like, you can't have it. It's not, it's not your toy. <laughs> Luna's very needy right now. No, you're okay. I love that she's in her Spectre specs and that you've got the pink and the blue and the lenses. Mm -hmm. This is really darling, but it says, try me. Not sure what that means. Do I, do I have to push it? So this plushie actually makes sounds. So if you press the tummy. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. So it's like she's using her wand and it's making like these very magical type sounds. That is super, super cute. Oh, this is really cool. I really love this. Luna really wants to take this out of my hand right now because she thinks all the toys are for her. Not this one. This one's mine. <laughs> but now I've got three boxes in front of me and then this daily profit little pouch thing that Michael kind of hinted at in his card. So I think I'm going to hold off last for this. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. But anyway, so I've got another box here and I love like all of these packages are companion pieces. Like they're all wrapped the same. They look the same. They look really, really good. I mean, I really like this wrapping paper that, that you used. I've never seen something like this before. So this is really cool. This box has a little bit of weight to it. A little bit of weight. <gasps> Oh my God, is this what I think it is? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> yes! Story time before I reveal. So I had reached out to Christian at McDoors a long time ago about a certain uh, product that was sold at the Wizarding World. I saw a bunch of people who had it on their stories and I'm like, oh my God, if I can get my hands on it, that'd be great. So I asked Christian if he could find this item for me and then just ship it to me. I totally reimburse him for everything. And eventually he got back to me and showed me a picture of the product. He's like, Hey, it's here. Do you still want it? I'm like, yeah, like a hundred percent. Let me know, you know, how much it is. Let me know the shipping and, and I'll, you know, reimburse you. And then I didn't hear anything back. That to me was kind of the tell of maybe either he or Michael had me as a person. Cause I'm like, well, that's kind of odd that he didn't, you know, follow up or something like that. But at the same time, I didn't either. I just kind of like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. But now I understand why. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, y'all. I'm so excited to add this to my collection. I have my own butterbeer mug. <laughs> it's so great. This is so freaking cool i love it i absolutely love this i have been wanting this for so long 
And I'm just so happy that that y'all remembered that I wanted it and thought to include it in this box. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so happy to have this. This is probably going to be like my favorite thing of all time now. <laughs> I need to find a really good butterbeer recipe. So if you know of one, drop a comment down below because I want to try it. It can be both non-alcoholic or alcoholic. Just, just saying, just keeping it real y'all. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so, so happy to have this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know we're not done, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a little bit larger than the other one that's left. It's a big box, a big box for Ron. So we'll see what, uh, what's in here real quick. Ooh, we've got some candy. Look at that. We've got some, ooh, we got, we got a lot of candy. Wow. Big, big, big. I'm not sure if I've heard of this before let alone seen it. A few <laughs> of the candy in here. And on the inside we've got black and green tissue paper. Once again, proud Slytherin over here. Love that attention to detail. And Christian is also a Slytherin. Michael is a Hufflepuff, which I love the fact that a Slytherin and Hufflepuff can make it together and live a wonderful life. Wow! <laughs> I haven't even opened this yet, but dang! Holy cow, I can just feel the cavities growing in my mouth as we speak. Good Lord. <laughs> That's a fun surprise at the bottom. But let's look at what's in the green tissue paper. Oh, this is a shirt. <gasps> oh, this is cool. I know I've seen this in like everyone's stories that have visited Universal lately or who like basically live there because, you know, Michael lives in Orlando, so he frequents the parks a lot. <gasps> I love this. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That is so cool. It is a Hogwarts alumni shirt. This is freaking, freaking cool. Yes. I would have actually never thought to get this for myself, but thank you. This is like, now that I see it in person, I really love it. It looks great. It looks great. <sighs> Yay. I love shirts. I love collecting like Harry Potter t-shirts. I have a, I have a massive collection of Harry Potter t-shirts. So if you guys want to see a video of that collection, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know because dang, it's a lot. So love this shirt. Yay. So this is the last box. It's, it's a little weighty as well. Ooh. <gasps> You did not. You did not. Stop it right now. You did not freaking get me this. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> I just saw the back of the box and I'm freaking out. I'm about to lose my mind right now. You did not get me the Charmed Aroma Golden Egg Candle. What? <laughs> that is freaking amazing. I don't know what to say. I mean, obviously, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I'm so like, I'm so at a loss for words for this. I would never have expected this in a box swap. Like 100% would never have imagined that. You're an awesome person. Thank you so, so much. I I'm so happy to have met you as well as Christian and Mel and like everyone else that's participated in this box swap as well because it's a great community to be a part of, that being the Potter community. I, I'm, I'm just blown away. Like this is such a wonderful, thoughtful gift to include in this box swap. So I just, I can't thank you enough for it. And ah! <laughs> This is great. I'm just gonna open it up because I wanna see it in person and I'm sure many of y'all would like to see that as well. So let's see if I can get this out without damaging anything. Oh no. It's broken. 
That's so sad. That's really sad. I wonder if I could fix it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's really busted. Wow. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Whoa. This candle smells fantastic though. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, it's, yeah, it's, it's completely busted. That's super, super sad. But now I'm kind of like challenging myself. Maybe I'll like try to put it back together. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but it smells divine. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. So, so good. I'm going to like to burn the candle so that I could retrieve the little package inside that has the necklace of the golden egg. I still would love to do that. Um, I'm probably just going to have to sit this in like a bowl or something. It's not the end of the world, honestly. It really isn't. I, I just feel so incredibly thankful that the thought went into including this. It's just really sad that because of shipping, it caused this thing to break. And that's just, that's just sad. It really honestly is. So, but like at least the, the top survived, which is really cool looking, like with the kind of look of the owl that's supposed to be the turning device to open this, this golden egg, if it really did open, but you know, this is just what happens when you're dealing with like ceramic. This is really cool. This is really pretty. I love the coloring of this and just the detail of the etching of like the castle and everything on it and the texture that's on it. It's almost like hammered, which is really, really cool. So I'm pretty sure I can still like salvage this and like put it on my shelf or something. I don't know. We'll make do. All right, so for the last item in this mystery box swap, the Golden Egg Harry Potter Easter box swap, <laughs> we've got this really cool Daily Profit pouch. Obviously, I'm going to keep the pouch and repurpose it for other means, but inside, inside we've got something bubble wrapped. Kudos to Christian for like making this because I can't do that. <laughs> This is just really cool. I love this. And like I said, you can just repurpose it and I'm gonna keep it forever and ever and ever. So what's inside the pouch is bubble wrapped and I love, I love pins. I'm slowly growing my collection of enamel pins. And Michael, like you did not disappoint with these pins. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them because these are pins I do not have at all and they are from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. So the very first pin that we have is Weasley Wizard Wheezes. What more do I need to say about Weasley Wizard Wheezes? I mean, the fact that it's Fred and George's joke shop. I love the colors of the orange and purple and the design is just, it's just perfection. I mean, as a graphic designer, this kind of thing like really matters to me. It will of course be going on my pin board that you see behind me. And the last item in this box swap, the last pin that was included in this beautiful Daily Profit pouch is Professor Slughorn's Hourglass. And look, it's the sand actually falls. This is really, really cool. The fact that it's dimensional, it's just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I love this. Like as a Slytherin, of course, I love this. This whole box was very, very well thought out and I'm, I've, I've been happy with everything that I've received. But yeah, I mean, this, this box was just so well done, Michael. I cannot thank you enough. I mean, you're just a very kind person. I hope one day we all can meet, you know, it'd be great to meet at the parks and hopefully that will happen soon. <laughs> all right, that wraps up today's video. Thank you once again to Mel from Geeking Out with Melly Mel and Christian of McDorks for inviting me to participate in my very first mystery box swap. This golden egg Harry Potter Easter swap was just fantastic. I absolutely loved participating in it. 
shopping for my person was really fun and I hope Christine that you enjoyed everything that you got in your box. Can't wait to see your unboxing video as well. And once again, if you want to check out everyone's unboxing, all 15 channels will be listed down below. So thank you all once again for watching. It really means a lot. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, a comment. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you part of the Exceptionally Ordinary family. And be sure to tell your fellow witches, wizards, and muggle friends about Britney's Magic Trunk. And I will see y'all in the next video.